Hi my lovelies! So, a lot of you have asked me about strip lashes and how to apply them and I don't have a clue and never have. But, at the moment I've become absolutely addicted to them because of course, A, sometimes I go in between, obviously as you know I wear usually semi-permanent lashes and one, they're obviously quite expensive, two, you know, when they start falling out and you can't get an appointment to get them the infills, basically, they start looking really, really bad. So I've started wearing strip lashes sort of in that in-between stage and actually I'm quite addicted to them. Um, and I have the expert here, the gorgeous Sarah, who actually is an ambassador for... Isla. Isla, which is the lashes that are readily available and they are about, I bought two pairs yesterday, what, how much are they, 5 99 Yes, and they often do buy one and get one free off. Buy one, yeah. Like and they, and how long do they last for? You can probably get about seven wears out of them. Seven? Yeah. So it with the glue as well? With the glue, so it comes with a little bit of glue in the packet and you just need to make sure you keep that safe. Yeah. Um, when you take your eyelashes off at night, in the packet there are some sticky dots and you just Make sure you attach them, there's right and left, so you can oh, keep wow. them in there. Make sure that they're kept clean and you yep. can wear them again and again. But on here, you can see the band where the eyelashes are attached to is a black line. Now, you can get these um, attached to a black line and also a clear line. A clear strip line will give you a bit more of a natural look. You don't have to cover it up with too much eyeliner. Something like this, you can get away with minimal eyeliner. And the thicker the eyelashes, the bigger the band because they need to, to have something to hold onto and that's going to give a bit more of a fake effect. Yeah. That's what you're going out, heavy night out, where you're going to have a little bit more eyeliner, a little bit more eyelash makeup on. And it's incredibly dark, basically. Yes, it is incredibly yeah. dark. So the clear band, like you said, is for every day. You can get that right up to the lash line and without it showing that you're wearing any lashes. In here, this tricky little bugger, the lash line that it's attached to is a little bit thicker and it's a dark black line. Now you can put that straight across as well with very minimal eyeliner to cover it up. You might need a little bit just to blend it in. Yeah. And now something like this where the lashes are thicker, fuller, heavier. The lash line that it's attached to is much, much thicker. I don't know if you can see that. But always trim any eyelash down from the ends. Which? Never from never from the, the corner, because if no. you cut from the corner side where it's the shorter section, yeah. when you put that on your eyes, you're going to end up with a really big step. So you want to sacrifice some of the outer corner. The outer corner. Because when you put that on your eye, you're going to have much more of a natural effect and it will flare out in a really nice shape. We want to measure your eyes when we first get a pair of eyelashes. So the first thing you want to do is look down and you want to place the eyelashes along the lash line. There might be some glue from the packet which will help stick it down, but you don't need to stick it down completely. You just want to make sure that from edge to edge is going to... So I'm going to take a look in the mirror, is that okay? Yes. Okay, so it does fit perfectly. Yes. Now the bits that I get really worried about is the inner corner because sometimes that they flick up when I'm going out. Yes. So, to combat that, and especially with your eyes, what we're going to do is, we're going to cut them in half. So we don't need to trim them to lose any corner Le length. No. We're just going to cut them in half to okay. help stick them onto your eyes. That helps, does it? Yes, especially with your shaped eyes. Okay. We're just going to cut them. So right in the middle. Right in the middle. So when you get an eyelash that's fresh out the packet, yeah. there is a slight curve. Yes. But it's not it's not really going to sit that well against the eye. So by running it in a circle like that, helping the um, band become more flexible so it's going to sit better along the eye. Now something like this, where the band is quite thin, you're not going to have so much of a problem. Yeah. But something like this, where the band is quite rigid, you're really going to have to work that. Okay, so we're going to put the clear, clear, yes. clear on. We can put clear on one side and black on the other and we can see the difference. Okay. So this is clear, it comes out white, but it does dry clear. So we're just gonna run that along the edge and just concentrate on the corners where you get those little flicks that pop out. So 
So with your tweezers, just pick them up. And the best trick is to look down. You don't want to close your eyes, because when you close your eyes, you tend to pucker up the eyelid. Right, okay. So if we're looking down, we're going to get a much smoother shape. Which one am I doing? I'm doing this one. Okay. I'm just going to place it down as close to the lash line. And you can take the back of your tweezers or even a small eyeliner brush and you can press that in. Okay, so first step is I've got to measure my eye. Okay, so I'm going to put it, got to look at which is the shorter side, so that's the shorter side, so I'm going to put the glue on that first, yep. because that's the one that's going to be applied first. So. Right, now, here we go guys, so I'm going to shut my eye, and I'm going to relax it, and I'm going to head in, and I'm going to take my tweezers. Oh my god, I can't tell you how much easier it is with just half one. It's so much more less intimidating. Now you open your eyes, there. Oh you. my god, I'm literally so you don't understand how excited I am. I literally this is like this is life changing. <laughs> I you mean don't need me anymore. <laughs> I literally I don't even I mean oh my good god, I'm absolutely in love. This is life changing. This is gonna change my life. Oh okay. my good god. And then I just fluff these up a bit, yes. do I? And do also I need to press want... this down a bit? Yep, press it down. Oh my god, cutting it in half, I swear, you don't even understand. Hold on, wait, do I need to fluff them up a bit? Yeah, fluff them up. You can also go through with a little bit of mascara as well. I'm just gonna get with mascara. So do I do that quite gently then? Just gently and your strip lashes are now sealed and you can't see any separation between the two. Wow. I'm honestly so ex I feel so confident. <laughs> I literally feel so confident now. Like drama. Yes. And your eyelashes naturally are quite dramatic. So Yes, exactly. This, this to, to myself and to yourself would probably be an afternoon look. If you want something a bit more natural, then go for something with a clear band and a little bit more spiky on the lashes and that'll give that more natural look. Amazing. So, my darlings, I really hope that you've learnt um, something. I can promise you, just by cutting them in half has made all the difference. It really is life-changing. It's so much less threatening and it is much easier. So, if you want to wear false lashes or strip lashes as we now call them, then Sarah, thank you so much. No worries, I mean, I just feel so blessed that you taught me that because it's given, it's just boosted my confidence no end. And I really hope it's boosted yours in, in using a strip lash. Oh. And you're gonna say goodbye to everybody? Yes, goodbye everyone. Thanks Bye, so see you next time. Love you all.